Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So this week we're staying in Edinburgh. Uh, we're here for work, not for sightseeing, unfortunately, but I'll try to show you around as much as possible. I think it's the longest I've been traveling by train in the UK. It took us four hours and a half and 647 kilometers to get here. So we're staying for two days in Old Town, then in New Town for two days, and then we're back to Old Town again. So let me show you our first flat. So as you walked in on the left, there is one bedroom and this is a bathroom with a shower. Looks nice, light. This is actually what I was looking for. Love the tiles. And over here we have sofa bed for kids and kitchen also love the tiles so basically that's it we're staying here for two days only and we have plans for this evening we want to go to arcade bar haggis and whiskey bar to try traditional scottish food haggis we stayed in Westport next to Grass Market, historic marketplace of Edinburgh. So it took us less than 10 minutes to get to iconic Victoria Street. This is one of the most photographed streets in Edinburgh. It is full of independent shops selling cheese, tea, books. There are restaurants and Harry Potter themed shops, including Museum Contacts or more commonly referred as Diagon House. This is because it is alleged that Victoria Street was J.K. Rowling's inspiration for Diagon Alley. On our way to Arcade Haggis and Whiskey Bar, we've seen tens of closes, and I think it is a good idea to explore them, you never know where they might lead you or what you might see, because the Royal Mile alone has over 80 of them. And as I mentioned, Haggis is a traditional Scottish food made of sheep's blood, oatmeal and seasoning, and we tried two different variations, Robert Burns famous Haggis with whiskey sauce and Princess Diana Haggis with creamy sauce and rambouille liquor. Good morning, it's our second day in Edinburgh and I'm running to get us some coffee from our local coffee shop. It is surprisingly sunny, so our shooting was rescheduled for tomorrow because we actually need rain. <laughs> so today we have day off. And this is our local coffee shop, Love Crumbs Westport and I'll see you shortly when I'm done. So my coffee run is done and I wanted to show you the staircase that leads to our flat. So I'm not sure if it's a thing in Edinburgh, but I've seen quite a few of these spiral staircases. And honestly, they make you feel like you're living in a castle. Knock, knock. Who's there? Coffee delivery. And as our shooting was cancelled, we decided to make the most of our day off and we started from visiting Camera Obscura and Word of Illusions. It doesn't matter if you're traveling alone or with kids, this place is perfect for any age. Vortex Tunnel, Mirror Maze, Magic Gallery, these are just a few of my personal favorites. And don't forget to visit Rooftop Terrace for the view of Edinburgh. Guys, we didn't plan this at all, but the weather is so nice, we decided to come to Portable Beach. Sandy Beach is something I missed a lot. So we built a castle and now kids are just running around. So happy. We 
We popped into Bros Bagels, where they make the most delicious bagels and buns in Edinburgh. They kindly offered me a masterclass, so I even managed to make one bagel myself. the largest bagel I ever had. Then we picked up takeaway pizzas from Chiverinos before heading back to our flat. And that was it. A perfect day spent on Portobello Beach. As we didn't have much time to explore Edinburgh, my only chance to see the city for myself was to wake up early in the morning and this is what I saw. A city of shifting light, of changing skies, of sudden vistas. A city so beautiful it breaks the heart again and again city that I've never been physically before, but mentally, thanks to Alexander McCall Smith's books. This grand city waiting to be discovered. Good morning everyone! I didn't film anything yesterday because we've been busy with our project but as you can see we've relocated, we're now staying in a new town Shival, the Edinburgh Grant, kindly offered us an accommodation This is my third morning in Edinburgh and I have to say that this is such a horrible city because I have to take pictures and videos almost every minute I mean London is pretty but I've been living in London for nearly a decade and I think I got used to it. Edinburgh has a completely different vibe. It is somehow grand but cozy at the same time. And the architecture, the colors of the stones, it is so different to London and I love it. So this is basically an apartment. We have a kitchen, dining table, living room. We have access to the terrace show you the view we can see we can see northern sea from here <laughs> yeah that's the view of old town and let me show you our bedrooms so this is the main bedroom and this is the bathroom there's a shower over here as well and 
and yeah that's the kitchen over there and also we have one more bed for kids So the forecast was rain all days, but as you can see Edinburgh loves us so much, it treats us with sun almost every day. <laughs> Although sunny days are really really bad for photography, especially in Edinburgh. Our breakfast hamper has arrived, so we have in croissants with jam for breakfast and we have porridge, fruits and juice. That day we had some free time to explore the city, so we went to see one of the oldest buildings on Royal Mile, dated back to 15th century. Found famous heart-shaped ivy in this hidden Edinburgh courtyard and bought ourselves Christmas ornaments. This is something we started to do a couple of years back and it quickly became a family tradition. Time to relocate and I need my coffee to wake up. On our way to the apartment we found this telephone box. I'm not sure if you can see it clearly because of the reflection but there are toys and books and hats. So this is where we're staying tonight. Native hotel. Let me show you our lobby. The coziest space with sofas and beautiful view. Also, they offer unlimited coffee supply, which is very important to us. So, this is our flat. Here we have sofa and kitchen. And this is our bedroom. This is the view on typical Edinburgh's buildings. So, it's our last full day here in Edinburgh. Tomorrow we're going home. So, we have a couple of hours to see Dean Village and Stockbridge as well. It's difficult to believe but people actually live in here. It's just unbelievable. We loved Edinburgh and if you haven't been here yet, I hope you'll have a chance to visit this unique city. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you soon. Bye!